So the Hope Scholarship and the Zell Miller Scholarship, I know it's kind of early to be talking about this, but what you're doing right now is setting this up. And so it definitely matters, and I need you to know this. So in the state of Georgia, every time someone plays the lottery, thank you very much. You contribute to the scholarship fund. So the Hope Scholarship covers a portion of your tuition at an in-state institution in, in Georgia, obviously, a uh, public school. Fortunately, it will go to a private school, but the bulk of it will go to a public school. You've got to graduate from Lakeview. We make sure you've got the rigor piece, so don't worry about the rigor piece. And after the rise of ninth grade night, and I had a parent come to me and said, so we have to take AP classes? No. Chemistry counts as a rigor class. Spanish too counts as a rigor class. So we've got you covered. So parents, if you've heard pieces about the rigor for the Hope Scholarship, we've got everyone covered. So don't, don't worry about that piece. What I need you to worry about is the grade piece of it, okay? You have got to walk out of here at graduation with a 3.0 unweighted core GPA or higher, all right? They add a little bit of a bump for AP classes, but I don't want you to keep that in your mind, okay? Like, we'll cross that bridge in a minute. But unweighted core GPA 3.0 senior year grades matter. So I have a couple seniors in my office, and in January, I said, do you realize that you're at a 3.06? Keep going, keep this semester strong, because you'll, you'll get this scholarship. If you don't get it out of high school, there's no way to earn it after that. Um, so you've got to finish with it here, all right? Um, the Zell Miller Scholarship covers the full tuition at an in-state institution. There you have to have that 3.7 GPA, again, unweighted. There is also a test score for there. And very rarely do I find that students are meeting one and not the other, right? So those usually go meet at the end. If you're a student at Lakeview at least that has grades that are that strong, um, the test score usually falls into place. However, that too is upon high school graduation. And so if there was a situation where you just really struggle with standardized tests, theoretically, you can test throughout your entire senior year until you reach that benchmark. So um, there are ways to get in there. Um, I think students to put this in, oh, other one, sorry, georgiafutures.org. That's a website that I listed on that orange sheet down there. Every student in here has an account. I need you to log in. If you need help logging in, let's do that together. Come see me, and we'll get you logged in. Um, because that is the official website of the Georgia Student Finance and the reason I want you to log in now is because your HOPE GPA is updated at the end of every semester. Marie Chandler, our registrar, uploads your transcript to this website and they calculate it so you can see at any given time, once grades are final, exactly where you stand in terms of the HOPE scholarship. Don't use the transcript that we give you because it's going to be different. Okay, remember how I said everybody calculates GPA differently? This is the same. I had a senior mom call me January because they had been calculating their own co-GPA all this time and they thought they were at a certain point when they weren't. Uh, and that threw this whole process on its head because they, they didn't know the actual numbers. So please, please, please log in, check it, and if you need help, let me know that you may want to star that website. Oh, I made it big. Um, okay, couple schools, and I think y'all have a good idea of the schools that it would apply to, but I also put this list up there just to show you how many schools are in Georgia. I don't think that I truly really realize that, and a lot of students don't realize that either. If I asked you to name as many as you could, you probably could come up with maybe five or six. Um, so just know that there are a whole lot, um, and like I said, the Hope and Zone Alert does apply to private schools. Private schools are also more likely to give out more school-based scholarships that they have the money to give out and to try to offset what the Hope and Zone Alert Scholarship would be. And I had a conversation with a college rep just the other day, and she said it is so hard to get kids out of Georgia. Uh, and it is, it really is, because we have this incredible scholarship program that keeps kids here, and it makes a whole lot of sense at the end of the day. So please make this an option, even if you're saying, I'm going out of state, I, I can't wait to get out of Georgia. At least keep this as an option for your son, okay? Um, to put it into concrete terms, this is tuition, this is kind of the undergraduate cost estimate of the University of Georgia. All right, so we'll just keep one that, that we're pretty familiar with. You can see annual tuition is just under 10,000. Students, I want you to really look at these numbers, okay? Um, total everything, you're talking about $26,000 per year, okay? 
Things you can buy with that much money. Car, yeah, that's the, the first thing that comes to mind. You can buy a good first buy, an awesome first buy with that twenty-six thousand dollars. That's a lot of money that that perhaps your parents are willing to contribute to your college education. Perhaps they're not. I want you to know this is something that, in my opinion, this is a family conversation. I realize that if parents, you would let me for just a second, kind of interject and say that students is a gift. Perhaps that your, student, that your parents are going to try to work out with you or give you or they're having these conversations. It's not something that you're entitled to. Uh, it's something you have to work hard and you have to earn. You've got to prove that you're ready for. It's a whole lot of money and they're making a great big investment in you. So now is a really good time to prove to them that you're ready for that and you've earned that and that you can, you can take that investment and really make it worth it. So um, please be sure that you're keeping that in mind. Um, with the host scholarship, I said it covers a portion. It's a pretty significant portion, just graduating from high school with that 3.0 GPA. Uh, it, it covers $7,200 a year, so that's going to reduce your annual tuition to $2,352. You'll notice that fees piece doesn't change, uh, so that's kind of where they get you. And especially when you talk about the Zelma Rose Scholarship, which I'll put up here. Um, it does cover 100% of tuition, which is still incredible. It's reducing your tuition, uh, actually it's zero, but not your tuition. Um, but those fees and everything else, the room and board, that's what then you would still be responsible for. So, um, just wanted to throw that out here. 